What's up, Trendsetter Gang? Today we're going to make garbanzo bean salad. Now, here are all of my ingredients. I forgot the, the number one ingredient, my favorite, is cilantro that adds to the flavor and the tastiness. But it's still going to be flavorful and tasty. Um, and I may leave the ingredients um, down in the description box below. But um, I forgot my cilantro, but I'm still, you know, go on with the recipe because I told y'all I was going to have some um, recipes for y'all. So, yeah. Okay, so we got here we got two cans of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. That's the, they're the same thing, okay, by Goya. I love this brand. I trust this brand. I don't get any kind of chickpea. Um, any other kind of brand you can get. Um, these are... Um, get organic or non-gmo but i trust goya um i um here's some cucumbers um a cup of tomatoes i'm gonna eyeball it with the cucumbers because i probably should put like a cup of cucumbers in there and i made because i'm you know i'm real picky about cucumbers the way they are in my dishes so we'll, let's just i'm gonna let me figure this one out um because i'm I'm doing it for y'all, but I got to remember I'm doing it for myself, too. And here's some um, olive oil. Mm-hmm. Um, sea salt. You know how I told y'all about that sea salt. I have to really lay off of that. And this is the pink Himalayan sea salt. This is the one I'm going to use today. Um, I think I use a couple of dishes with some sea salt and it's already done got to me. I, my, my body's very sensitive to salt because um, I don't eat it. Um, cayenne pepper. Um, one whole lime. I may add another one. I usually, sometimes I do add two limes because I like the lime really. Um, and I may, I may add a little bit of the Himalayan sea salt because I only have to add a little bit. One thing about this salt, you don't have to add a lot, but it gives you enough to taste without hurting your head or making your eyes red and all that little crazy stuff. But you got to remember the lime, the citrus is going to give you that salt taste. Trust me, you... You you just don't know how much wonders that lime works, okay? I use lime as a, a salt substitute as well, in case you didn't know that. Um, So I think I'm going to move this sea salt. But for your for y'all that like sea salt, that's cool, okay? Um, And I'm going to chop this red onion up. And I told y'all I forgot my cilantro. So I'm still going on, still moving on. It ain't no big deal. You know, we still going to get this, this train of going, honey, because we the train set the game. Don't nothing like this stop us, honey. We got to get it how we live, honey. Let me get this. Um, I need to pour this juice in something because I need to use it later. Um... The juice in here is called aquafaba, and it foams up. Um, it makes like egg whites for vegetarians. Y'all, it's so much to discover being a vegan. I tell you, it's 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 so exciting. Let me pour this juice in here. Uh oh, I should have got my strainer, but it's all good. I'll get those out. Okay. Okay, so there's, um, let me get this strainer right quick. I'm still trying to get the hang of this cooking video thing because, whoo, Lord have mercy, child. Now, I don't put the juice in the wrong container, Lord. There I go. Excuse me, y'all. Just forgive me. I'm about to fix this. All right. Okay, let's get that juice off of there. All right, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put them over here just for a minute. Uh, what did I do? Oh, put this in here, and let me rinse this out because we getting ready to put our beans. I sell it up in here. Okay, so 
So yeah, this is our garbanzo bean or chickpea salad, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. Okay. Okay, so we got the two cans of garbanzo beans. That's one can. Let me get let me get these other ones out. Alright. And well, let me get a spoon to get them out. I don't know what I might do. That'll make it easier. There we go. And I'll pull it back in there. See, I done went through all them little changes. Ugh. Okay. I hate when that happens. But nevertheless, we're getting done. We're getting her done, okay? Okay, so now we're going to open up the second can. Yeah, that aquafaba, that's the juice on the chickpeas or the garbanzo beans. It's called aquafaba. And look at the beans. Y'all see them in there? See that? Okay. Okie dokie. And so then now, um, let's go ahead on and put the, we can put the tomatoes in. And let me see how many, um, let me see. I think I'm going to put it. Maybe like a couple cucumbers because I don't know if I want that many um, in my salad. Um, okay, and so a couple cucumbers. And you can put as much as you want. You know, that was a whole cucumber. You supposed to, well, I ain't going to say you supposed to because you can pretty much do it how you want to. But um, a cucumber, you is the recipe calls for one seeded cucumber, but because... Sometimes I want a lot of cucumbers and sometimes I don't. You know what I'm saying? So, I just roll with that. You see what I'm saying? Um, okay, so we're going to do... Um, I'm, well, I guess, let me see how this going. I don't know if I can do it with this. Well, I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to do a, a teaspoon of salt. So, I'm just... This is the pink Himalayan sea salt, which I love. You don't have to use that much. And I'm not using as much as y'all think I am. Because I got the... Um, and then, let me get some... Um, oh, I got a little bit of... Cayenne pepper. I mean, then you you season a, a cayenne pepper in here to taste, and then I'm just putting everything in it because I'm about to cut these onions up. Let me cut these onions up and move this out the way. And I'm like I said in a minute. I'm gonna know in a minute how if I want to add some more um uh. If I want to add some more uh, cucumbers in that, who child? Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Yeah, cilantro is key. Um, I'm a cilantro girl. Now, everybody don't like cilantro. You know what I'm saying? You can add green onion in here. Just make sure that it's alkaline and it's not no other stuff in here that ain't supposed to be in here. You know, people, you know, freak this recipe and do it how they want to do it. You know, everybody got different kind of... 
you know, you could put green onion. Uh, if you want to add more kick to it, you can add some, um, and I've done that too. You got cayenne pepper in it, but for those that like hot stuff like I do, sometimes if you want an extra kick, you can add some crushed, a little bit of crushed um, red pepper. Um, some people put bell peppers and onions in their chickpea salad. Hmm, I've had it all different kinds of ways. I like chickpeas, so it don't bother me. I can eat it. However, I'm good. I like to eat them. But this is my favorite recipe the way I'm making it here now. Because it's simple and it's quick. And it's easy. It's much quicker because I wasn't prepared. I didn't do all my little chopping and stuff I was supposed to do. I did some of it, but I didn't do all. Okay, so I'm going to just go through here and get the chopping. So that's like a half of a red onion. Now, depending on how much you're going to make, if you got a larger family, you may want to use a whole red onion and make a much larger. You're going to need probably about three or four cans of garbanzo beans. But like I said, my recipe is going to be for, it's probably going to be for two people. That's probably me and me. <laughs> okay. Me and me. And these are good recipes. These recipes are immune boosting, okay? These are alkaline recipes. They will be so you abuse you are uh, boosting your immune system even when you're eating food, which is very important. It just strengthens. You want you gotta keep that bad boy strengthened. It's like a you know how you put oil in your car. You gotta you gotta take care of your body. You only got one. You only got one. You see what I'm saying? Sugar weakens the immune system. I don't care what form it's in. It can be in juice. It can be in anything. If it's that sugar in them ingredients, you probably need to put it down. Sugar will weaken the immune system. Now, you can tell yourself that it ain't going to hurt you. And you can make up all the little stuff you want to make up about it. But I guarantee you, when it's time to fight something off, your body will not be able to. Not the way you want it to. It's not going to... um. Well, I'm not going to say not the way you want it to. <laughs> it's not going to, it's just not going to be, you know, you're going to be like, well, I've been eating healthy. Well, that, because that was your version of healthy. It wasn't just because, see, we all got our own different versions of health, healthy. And we think just because uh, we got our own versions that, that it means that it's the right way. Nope. Alkaline, no. Disease can live in an alkaline body. So that's why I am making these alkaline recipes. They are fun. They family friendly. They are tasty. And then, and then you know what? It's killing more. I, I say more than two birds or three birds and one stone. It's killing a lot of birds with one stone because then it's immune boosting. So your kids going to love it. It's tasty. It's family. It's, it's fun. It's family friendly. And it's quick and easy. You know what I'm saying? They going to take you all day. Like it's taking me right now. <laughs> um, let, me put, let me put a little olive oil in, and I'm a eyeball. I'm eyeball. I'm a eyeball. Eyeball the um the olive oil. You ain't gotta put too much in here. Just eyeball it. Boil it. All right. Make sure it ain't no. And make sure it ain't no seeds or nothing in the um. 
the lime because I didn't even look. I'm just. And you you can um after you make this salad, leave it in there for about 30, 45 minutes. Let it, you know, coagulate and let the flavors come together. And it'll be ready to serve. Or you can make this, you can make this the night before and come home from work the next day. And you know that's dinner. You ain't gotta warm up nothing. By the way, I don't use microwaves, so it's it's already hot. It's getting ready to get hot, and you want to keep yourself cool. So get them cold salads out. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a cold pasta salad one day, another salad, and then I have a cucumber salad, a Asian um cucumber salad I want to do for y'all too. Yeah, I'm gonna need another line because that ain't gonna. I know that's not gonna work. Um, but let me go ahead on and mix it up. I'm gonna get another lime in a minute out here. Hold on. Yeah, this is um packed with a lot of protein. It lasts in the fridge for days. So you know what I'm saying. This this is this is this is yo. This is a meal you can take it to work. You ain't got to put it in a microwave. You ain't got to worry about warming it up. I think I need a few more cucumbers. Just a little bit more. Just to even out the recipe, you know? Okay. Some people like to put garlic in here. You welcome to do that. You know what I'm saying? You welcome to do that as well. Let me put a little bit more of this salt. Now this is a finishing salt. That's why it doesn't get to your head real quick and it doesn't hurt you that fast because it's a finishing salt. It's not meant to be sea salt. So it's very delicious, but it's not it's not as strong. You know, when you first put this on, it's strong. You got to actually, when they say do a pinch in recipes, they mean a pinch because this is strong. But this one is not that strong. So it takes a little bit more, but it just makes you look like you're just a perfect chef and know how to season stuff right. I love it. Okay. Um, let me get another line. Oh, let me get some more cucumbers. Let me put some more cucumbers in here. I'm going to just eyeball that. Alright. I bought it and uh yeah. Gonna get another. I can smell it smells so good, y'all. Oh my god. Mm. I can get some. This I'm the only one eating that. That's my business, honey. Cause that's my business. Mm -hmm. And you know, you like I said, you can freak it. You can put garlic in here. You know, I have done it with garlic. I love garlic, honey. Look. <laughs> Look here. And see, I'm going to put a little more salt. I can't even taste the salt. It takes a lot to taste that. But I, I'm not going to do that yet. Let me get this lime because that's going to... Once I get this lime, I might just be all right, okay? These are the limes that you need to get. Key limes. Can y'all see that? Dr. Sebi approved. And they got some larger key limes. I like to get, he was saying these are the best ones, but they got larger size key limes, larger than this one, like a lemon. So, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so um, yeah, let me roll this and then cut it, and then we're gonna be in business. Business. See how I got y'all some quick recipes? It ain't gonna take that long. All right, so let me cut this line, move this. Olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil on there. 
Let me make sure I get these C's out. And I don't advise you do this because you can cut yourself. I almost did the other day, but I don't got so good at it. Now I'll just be doing what I'm going to do. Let me put a little bit more olive oil. Now, olive oil is not supposed to be warmed up and cooked. You put it in cold salads because it's already potent. You're going to cook all the goodness out of it. So, you know, Dr. Sebi said don't cook it. So, we, I don't cook it. Um, and it's, it's very, um, very tasty. So, you don't need to mess up the flavor. Ooh, get that out. Y'all, I wish I had my cilantro, but that's all right. Just remember to add cilantro. And honey, you ain't had nothing. Woo, I love this salad. It's a great summer salad. You can eat when it's really hot. It's really caught good, cold. It's a great salad. And you can. what I like about this dish is you can make a lot of it and feed a lot of people. And I told y'all, garbanzo beans is, is a good protein. I'm talking about you... This not on it. It will keep for days. That's the first thing. Garbanzo good beans are good. It will keep for days. Okay, and um, it's a great. It's packed with protein. Garbanzo beans are very filling. Like when I eat this, I'm probably not even gonna be hungry till tomorrow. And sometimes the next day, I won't be hungry till probably dinner. And sometimes I don't be hungry at all. It don't mean I, I'm not gonna eat, but um. I just eat very little because the garbanzo beans are that are that packed with protein to the point where it'll fill you up for days. You 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 have to eat them to know what I'm talking about. Very filling. So, honey, you with this? You talking about a good transition recipe? Because I think a lot of people, the first thing they have about healthy food is that it's not good it don't look good it don't taste good and all that kind of stuff and it's not quick and easy so i'm making it quick and easy i'm making it look good and taste good and it's something that um you know we eat um a lot of people eat garbanzo bean salad so it's nothing you know if you haven't had it you've heard about it so um Yeah, let me toss this around. Move this stuff out of the way. I've seen people put black beans. Now, I'm not going to do that for mine, but <laughs> I'm just saying it's, this is a great salad, y'all. It's a really very tasty and very filling salad. Oh my God. You just don't know. And I can't wait till y'all tell me about these recipes. So, I'm making a cookbook um, for those that want to transition vegan. You know, everybody, it don't taste good. It don't look good. No more excuses. We're gonna, It's going to taste good. It's going to look good. It's, gonna, it's immune boosting. The kids going to love it. It's family friendly. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 it don't take too long to prepare and it's filling. You understand what I'm saying? So have fun with this recipe because I think you'll like it. I just wanted to get y'all some quick, easy recipes that was, you know, going to be... Mmm, oh my God. That's so delicious and so fresh. I'm missing my cilantro because cilantro... Baby, and you can add all the cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro in mine, so I may grab a fistful, maybe like, maybe like a cup of cilantro, and chop it up real fine and put it in here. But I forgot my cilantro, so that's all right. Mmm, it's packed with flavor. It's packed with flavor, and I think let me add a little bit of more cayenne pepper. It's packed with flavor. So much flavor. Oh my God. And yes, I, I can put my fork in here. This mine. That's my business. I can do that. So, you want to do it to yours, you can. Don't tell me not to do it to mine because I'm this mine. 
Yeah, and I'm going to eat on this for a couple days. I probably can eat on this for the rest of the week, at least three days. This is a good lunch. It makes a good dinner. If you want to make it as a snack, whatever. All right. All right, you guys. So here's your garbanzo bean salad. See that, guys? So all you got to do is put a top on it, put it in the fridge for like, 35 45 minutes let the flavors coagulate and congeal together and it'll be ready so it doesn't really take that long as i took but um yeah i know if you if you prep it cut up your tomatoes and your onions and stuff like that if you have cut that up the night before you can come in and make this salad in like five minutes but I wasn't prepared. I had cut everything up. And plus, I got to talk y'all through the video. So, it took me a little bit longer. But normally, this doesn't take... This is like a five-minute salad. If you go ahead and chop everything up, you good to go. So, let me get another bite. And make y'all jealous. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Have some, guys. Yummy. Mmm. It's so good. Y'all. It's packed with so much flavor. The olive oil, the lime, and all the flavors together, oh my God, are amazing. It's so packed with flavor. So, um, I put the, um, mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> mm, I'm put a little bit. All right. Oh my God, it's packed with flavor, y'all. Oh my God, this is so good. Y'all, just, oh my God, just, just try this. Try it and tell me how you like it. I am, like I said, I am working on a cookbook. Because I'm, I'm going to be making vegan. It's going to be an alkaline vegan pizza. You know, oh, it don't taste good. Mine going to taste good. I don't know who other cookbooks. I done seen other people vegan cookbooks and people didn't like the food. My recipes you going to like. Mmm. I've also made this for my family. For my mom. And my sister and my nieces. Packed with flavor. Mmm. So, let me stop eating. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you'll always know every time I upload a new video. And remember, honey, it is trendsetter game or no game. And one more thing I want to say. These recipes I'm going to be making are family friendly, transi tra transitional vegans or transitional alkaline vegans or transitional alkaline vegan families, families that are looking to transition. These are quick, easy, immune boosting, packed with flavor. Fun, family friendly recipes that I want to make for you guys. Okay, that I'm gonna do a cookbook, so the, it'll take the the work, take the the overwhelm out of it. Cause you know when you're dealing with al alkaline, you do have to prepare fresh, and sometimes you can prepare, you can do a meal prep and prepare the ingredients the day before, and then just come in, come in. Uh, since everybody's at home, you got plenty of time to prepare. So if you just say, I don't feel like making the whole thing, but I can chop up the vegetables and all the stuff, the, the you know, all, everything that go in it, leave the beans in the can until the next day. And, you know, then if you want to have it for the next day, all you got to do is pour it in there, mix, season it, mix it up, put the olive oil on it, boom, and you ready to go. You know, so you can take the work out of the preparation by, um, you know, preparing the food the night before.
kind of how, kind of how, like, I should have did this video. But, I love you, Trinsetta Gang. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.